<sighs> oh god, I absolutely love arguing in the comments section. It's so great. Something else that I love so much is sounding so disgustingly nasally right now. So, uh, yeah, for those of you guys that uh, saw yesterday's video, I was talking about how I was starting to feel kind of sick. Well, now I know I definitely sound fucking sick. And the weird thing of it is, though, is that I know I sound nasally, so I do apologize if today's video and then maybe tomorrow and then, like, the day after for, like, I don't know, maybe the next two to three days. Back to the matter is, I do apologize if just over the next couple of days I sound nasally and I just seem a little bit out of it because I absolutely feel so weak when I'm sick. It's just, it's disgusting. And what's so weird about it though, is that I only feel it in my sinuses. That's it. Like even so as of right now, obviously I have a runny nose and like I feel pressure right on the bridge of my nose and it really fucking hurts. So I really should not be making a video right now, but yet here I am. I would honestly much rather feel sick and make a video as compared to just lay in bed, take a nap, try and like recover a little bit. I would rather do the shit that I love doing as compared to, uh, I don't know, just taking a break from something that I love. I mean, it's fairly obvious that I love you guys so much. I love doing YouTube so much. So if I feel like I can make a video, which I feel like I can right now. Fuck it, I'm gonna make a video. Although probably the moment I am done recording this video, I am definitely gonna take a nap. Like the moment my girl comes over, yeah, it's nap time. So also speaking of her, I mentioned her in yesterday's video, like jokingly she got me sick. Well, actually she didn't get me sick. I don't know what happened. So I'm probably gonna get her sick. But I mean, then again, for anyone who's in a relationship, you totally understand. If your boyfriend or your girlfriend gets sick, congratulations, you're getting sick too. Oh god, come on, please. No, I'm not about to get fucking noob tubed. And okay, alright, nice. Getting noob tubed and the unnecessary jump shot. Alright, fantastic. I mean, I wanted to join the original map server because I'm so tired of playing Nuketown on Black Ops 1 because that's, you know, the only thing I can actually play on PC. I mean, honestly, though, as much as I talk about, like, wanting to hit an L96 multi, I want to hit it on a map that's not Nuketown, but then again, I feel like if I don't play Nuketown, I'm not going to have much of an opportunity to even really go for it, you know what I mean? You are so fucking disgusting, kid. Honestly, nah, fuck this, dude. Honestly, though, that is so fucking gross. Like, who actually plays this game that way? Honestly, though, it really wouldn't surprise me that much if I was getting noob tubed on Modern Warfare 2 because, as you all know, stereotypically, that's where all the noob tubers play. I feel like each Call of Duty game has its own, like, uh, stereotypes and boundaries, I guess I could say. Like, you don't do certain things that you would do on one game on another. Did a friendly flash really just destroy my attack? I still think that's one of the stupidest fucking things in this game. And he's using second chance, dude. I actually feel like throwing up right now. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense because I already feel sick as fuck. But anyways, as I was going to say, I think that was one of the stupidest fucking things about this game. I mean, like, enemy stuns and flashes and shit can destroy your attack and other sorts of equipment. Like, it's fucking weird. It makes more sense if it was like an EMP grenade, but who the fuck runs around actually? Nope, that's Black Ops 2. Never mind. Honestly, though, the thought of that shit triggers me. Like, out here using, I don't know, LMG target finder, throwing EMP nades everywhere. Oh my god. Yo, if that collateral lined up and I got an all solid L96 quad feed, oh, that would have been beautiful. Oddly enough, though, I feel like I have a much better chance of hitting a solid L96 quad feed as compared to the L96 multi. Did I really not shoot him in the forehead? Like, what is his playstyle? 15th fucking prestige. You know what, actually, I guess I'm really not gonna sit here and complain about his playstyle because usually most of the 15th prestigers on this game are sweaty as fuck. And I literally just got a barrel stuff hit mark. I don't understand what's happening to me right now. Like, why? Oh, and here we go again. I got the feeling like I'm gonna sneeze, but it's not wanting to happen right now. Why do you gotta play me like this? It's such a tease, though, because then you just sit here feeling like you're gonna die like, uh. It's actually kind of funny once you think about it because, like, you're sitting here and you don't realize the facial expression that you're doing. You're sitting here like, so I have that feeling right now, so I don't know when I'm going to sneeze, but I feel like it's definitely going to hurt once it happens. Dude, what is this playstyle? This is so disgusting, man. I don't know why I thought getting on Black Ops 1 was a good idea today, because I know the moment I get on this game, I really want to go for the L96 multi. And within the process of me attempting to go for it, I end up getting really mad because I hate the way people play this game. Well, actually, now that I say it, that I really hate the way a lot of people play a lot of Call of Duties, but that's besides the point. Oh my god, come on, give me a break. I wanted to feel cool, because I know that kid was just sitting there on his dick the entire time, and I wanted to shoot him in the forehead. And there's another guy just laying and prone around corners. Like, what is it with these people and feeling the need to stick their dicks in cement and or grass? So anyways, now guys, there is one last thing that I do want to mention really quickly. Over the past, I want to say, like, 24 hours, or uh, really whenever Smith tweeted this out. If you guys don't know who uh, Sore Smith is, he's one of the leaders of Sore, and he had tweeted out saying, uh, who do you guys want to see in Sore now? And the amount of tweets and comments that I've been getting of uh, just my ad on Twitter, well, I guess just tweets, 
not really comments, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Basically, though, the amount of times that I have been mentioned in that tweet is just uh, really uplifting, and I really just wanted to say once again, thank you all so much for your ongoing support with the Soar RC, with coming back to my videos on the daily basis. It truly does mean a lot to me, guys. And of course, you guys already know that, but and I just truly cannot thank you guys enough for all of that. So really, thank you guys. What is that Claymore? It's, you know what? No, I'm fucking done, dude. I'm off. What in the actual fuck was that tomfoolery? The Claymore was literally angled at the ground and it still killed me. That's just, that's just fucking Rick's Quaylock. Fuck it, dude. I need a nap.